Hi, hi, hi! How are you today? I hope that you're okay. My name is Kay and today I will vlog about a most requested subject which is a day in my life. So today, I am currently in my house as I wait on some virtual meetings that are about to happen in a few minutes. And then after some meetings, about one every hour for the next two to three hours, I will be responding to some emails from colleagues and also shoot some emails to others. And then after that, I will bring you along to an event. Let's see if we can actually go into the event with me, alright? But because my event will actually be very near my office, I will also give you a quick tour of my office space. So, come with me to this day. Yes, I always wake up ahead of my alarm clock but I do alarm anyway to make sure and hope that I wake up on time. Every waking opportunity is a chance at a new life. First thing in the morning if you're like me who uses the cell phone right away then you get overwhelmed by so many different things. Some good news, some bad news and a lot of things but the important thing is you get centered at what you really have to do for yourself and for your loved ones and the people that matter to you. So I just woke up and I'm just here to have my sunbathing. I would often get that when the sun is out, I have my vitamin D bathing. So yeah, that's why I'm here. And this video will make it to my day in my life vlog. <laughs> Have a great day. Choose to be the sunlight to someone else's day today, guys. Good morning! So, I have my keto diet for the week. In Keto Vegetarian Black Village, you can actually order two for five days. They deliver you to every day. All the three meals. And then, if you order uh, one with, for example, dessert or with a drink that could burn your fat or new booster drinks, well it depends, there are different packages and for this one, I have the one with the new booster drink and also the fat burger. So this one is my breakfast. Spot on the camera eating normal food, not my keto diet. I do have my regular meals too every once in a while. That's my eldest daughter right there. She's already in college, second year, and she's a new transferee to the University of the Philippines de Laman, which is also my alma mater. Oh yeah, some things never change. Lunchtime is usually our chat time, so this is when we get to eat on the table together. 
me with my kids because most of the time in the morning it's just the boys that eat with me and the girls are still asleep because their classes are still later in the day but the boys because their classes are earlier they always eat breakfast with me <laughs> So this is my youngest daughter, Charisma. Okay, so we're going to the office and yeah, that's the aircon you can hear because it's quite a sunny day outside and I'm sweating so bad so I had to box out the aircon. But yeah, I'm going to the office because I told you there's an event and I'm gonna drop first to my office because that's where the shirt for the event was left. Okay, so let's go! So at this point, I'd like to answer some questions that were sent to me by some friends and some subscribers to my vlog. And one of it is that, what gives you comfort whenever you feel down or anxious? So this question came from Johanna. Hi Johanna, thank you for your beautiful question. You know what I do outright whenever I feel some anxiety or some worries and things that are challenging me, I stop and I pray. I reflect upon my life. Yes, right away, I always have my mind control my emotions or my body because I believe that the mind is really powerful. So when you give it power over your body, it makes you react in a certain way too. Like for example, if you're anxious, the tendency for you is to have some heart palpitations or you suddenly find yourself sweating or not really comfortable so what i do is i tell myself relax you got this everything's gonna be okay and then i pray to god and i have this mantra which i've memorized since i was a little girl and this was taught to me by my lola seho and it goes Lord Jesus Christ, Son of David, have mercy on me, a sinner. I reflect upon that as I know that I am bound to commit some mistakes or there are things that I do which may not be aligned to what the better thing to do is. But I know that our God is gracious and He's merciful. And with that, He would always be willing to extend to me His grace. So, that gives me comfort. The fact that our God is a gracious God who is able to really forgive and give us the chance always to move forward. So I've arrived safely in my parking spot. I'm a new driver. And yeah, I've actually made a vlog on it. Um, some tips for safety for those that are new in driving. My personal experience. Check it out. It's one of my videos there. So now another question is, how do you keep yourself optimistic or maintaining positive view in life despite the hard times we are facing, especially now in the time of the pandemic? So, yeah, I'm easily tired from climbing up the stairs and I remove my mask right when I'm already in my room because, yeah, I'm not more here anyway, so and catch my breath and then I'm going to change into the convention. So to answer the question of how I keep myself optimistic, it's actually by never stop dreaming. Like every single day, I have some things that I want to achieve. Dreaming is a long-term thing, but every day is a step towards getting into that goal. So when I have a to-do list instead of focusing in the bad happening around I focus myself on the things that I've set to do for myself and 
that which would benefit those people that actually care for me. So, whenever I have things on my list, I become motivated to go on and finish that despite that there are things that may bother me um, around, I'm here. able to still focus. And they're healthy because the heart is of the <laughs> also, if you noticed, I always am easy to laugh. Like, I find the light in little things. And I think that helps me be optimistic. That of being lighthearted or that of not taking things so seriously all the time. Now we're in the annual Million Tree Challenge event of the MWSS where Manila Water is awarded as among its biggest contributors. That's our CEO right there. And I'm so inspired because like me, he's also from UP okay, undergrad so the and event Ateneo. Is done and I'm back in my car, ready to go back home. So as you can see, the sun's still up somehow. It's actually, what time is it? Let me check. It's quarter to six, so uh, I'm still early for the day, which is good. I'm glad to be back safe and sound. So I just had my shower because that's what I do right away when I get back to the house. Because coming from the outside, I need to make sure that I wash off any virus or bacteria so it's time for dinner and because my kids don't want to be seen in my video i'm gonna get going have a good dinner now here's my after dinner music delight and then suddenly when i thought my day is done and i'm ready to go to sleep there would be messages asking for some legal consultations. Yes, I do some legal consultations to some private clients. And yes, I a lot time for that. So I change into my polo shirt and handle some consultations. And so if you need a lawyer too, just let me know. On some other days, this is allotted for class. Yes, I'm a professor in college. I'm teaching Philippine government and politics. And yes, I do enjoy teaching a lot, especially that my students from the School of Diplomacy and Governance of the De La Salle College of St. Benilde are mostly wanting to become lawyers too someday, and I want to be an inspiration to them, sharing with them some idealism but at the same time, some knowledge of the real-world scenario. So thank you for watching my day in my life. I hope you can subscribe and hit that bell button there. Thank you!